Hello everyone. Today I want to introduce to you a new function, uh, xlookup, that is available in Office 365. Or if you're in, using Excel, it's, I think it's available for Excel uh, 2016 and above versions. So it's the xlookup. When you type in in Excel, it's going to um, show like this. So um, it, it is a relatively new formula, but it's super powerful, super useful. I think it's probably one of the single one most popular and useful function in the newer version of Excel. So that's why I think it's worth the time to introduce to you. Um, and especially I'm, I'm going to focus on the four user cases here because uh, by this one single function, you are essentially being able to replace VLOOKUP, actually lookup, or choose function for we look up to the left and index a match. Um, and I'm going to show you in the least time possible here. Okay, so um, the user case here for us is still quite straightforward. So let's say we still have an employee spreadsheet and uh, we are going to assign merit increase based on their performance rating from one to five um, and their compa ratio grouping, which is below 80 to 120%. So uh, let me just create this new column to do this. Um, so uh, I'm not going to show you how to do it in the older formula. I'll just show you how to do it in, in XLOOKUP uh, directly. Uh, so if we are going to, let's say um, now, if we're going to look for um, this person's um, mirror increase from this index, uh, from this table, then uh, what we can do with XLOOKUP is if we try to do a VLOOKUP, so assume that we, um, we're we now trying to replace VLOOKUP. So what you do is, let's say we want to um, we want to uh, look for uh, the comparison ratio. So this is comparison ratio. Uh, click on the value and then click on your column for your lookup. Make sure you press F4 to make it absolute so you can drag the formula down. Um, and then it's going to return the uh, array. So now let's just only do we look up. So assume that because it's performance four, we know it's going to look up this column. So we just um, select the column that we need, uh, make an absolute reference, and then that's it. So actually, you don't, for a simple we look up, you don't need to um, do the uh, select, make any uh, change for the rest of the items in XLOOKUP. You just close the bracket. It's going to assume by default to be exact match, and then just enter and then you would get the right value that you need. That's it. And then similar, similarly for edge lookup, it's also just really intuitive. So you type in the X lookup. So now let's assume that we are going to do, uh, do it by horizontal. We're going to replace the uh, edge lookup. So what you do is you uh, choose the item that you need. Uh, our case, uh, um, performance is two, and then choose where you're going to look for the column. And then assume that we know it's 80, our comparison ratio is 80 to 90, so we know it's this column, uh, this row. Make an absolute reference, and then that's it. And then you can close the bracket. Uh, it's going to default to be exam match, and then you get 3%, which is exactly what we need. Okay, so the next one is actually my favorite because it's we look up to the left. Um, I actually, before I um, ha I know this X lookup, I actually made another video of if you're using a lower version of Excel, you want to look up to the left, how do you do? I actually have a video on that and it's linked below. Uh, it's basically that you need to add a choose function uh, in order to do that in we look up. But then in X lookup, uh, it's just so intuitive. So it's X lookup. You look up. So in our user case, let's say I'm going to look for the employee name and I want to return their employee ID. So I'm going to look for the employee name that I need. My lookup array is uh, column B. Um, you don't have to make it absolute here if you don't want. And then I'm going to look for employee ID. It's co uh, column A. And then close my bracket. And here you go. So you just have the employee ID here. You just need to reformat it properly. That's it. That's as simple as it is. 
Okay, so the last thing I want to share with you is how to replace index and match. So um, you will also see from my uh, video playlist that before this X lookup, I have a whole bunch of videos how to do this uh, index and match to look for value in a matrix. So I'm going to show you how to do that in, in X lookup. So, so in this case, let's say we need to look for both their uh, comparison ratio grouping and performance rating. Uh, what you do is to X lookup. Uh, let's first start with the comparison ratio because it's vertical, it's more intuitive. Um, and then the lookup ar array that we're looking for is this one, make it an absolute. Um, and then the array or the range that we want to look for is in this table, in this matrix, right? So that is where we want. But um, the, uh, we actually want to also look for the specific value here based on which performance rating they're assigned to, which will uh, be determined which column that we look for, right? So in order to do that, add one more X lookup with, uh, that's nested in your X lookup. So to do that, you type in your X lookup function before uh, the lookup range and then still look for the value. So the value you're looking for is um, performance rating. The array you're looking for is uh, the performance rating in bar here, make it's absolute, return, uh, absolute value. And then you have the lookup uh, table here. And then close the bracket and then close the bigger one. Here we go. So 4.5%, so let's see if it's correct. So the performance rating is three, uh, the comparative grouping is 80 uh, to 90. So here we go, we have 4.5%. Uh, and then when you drag the formula down, it's gonna look at it, uh, the table and return uh, the specific value. So for example, this one is a five rating and then the comparative range is 90 to uh, 110. And here you go, you have 7%. So that's how easy it is to replace the index and match. Um, I found it very, very interesting. Um, you can continue to use the older ones if you don't have the uh, newer version, but if you do, if you have Office 365, I would strongly recommend you to transfer to using SQLOOKUP. Okay, so that is everything um, I wanna share with you today. I hope that you find it helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.